guys Karen here with just a quick video I was it's a rainy day here and um, early morning and I got some apples from the farmers market these are uh, honey crunch these are the honey crunch apples um, our favorite around here and uh, I decided to make some applesauce with a few of them um, tis the season um, today I'll be using four apples because there's only three of us here so you know don't want to use too much I'm going to store it in my tulip wax jar it's one liter I'm going to use my Le Creuset saucepan because it's big enough it's just the right size here I'm adding cardamom uh, cinnamon nutmeg and fresh ginger and it's just a really quick recipe and I'll probably add a little bit of brown sugar I forgot to bring that over here um, yeah I'll probably add a, a fourth of a cup brown sugar and probably three-fourths of a cup water but I just use water as needed so first I'm gonna start with peeling my apples I'm going to and with the peel I'm going to add that to my compost pile um, I have a little bowl that I keep compost in so I'm going to put all of the parts that I don't use in the compost now I'm going to chop them sorry I should have said peel them first then chop so before I go any further I'm peeling my ginger um, I just love I love the scent of ginger um, and it just and it adds a little bit of spice to the apples so I'm gonna peel this and then chop the apple so I roughly chopped all of our apples. Um, I like little pieces of the um, ginger. And, and here's the cardamom pods, the cinnamon, and the nutmeg. I'm gonna add my 3 fourths cup of water to the saucepan um, and start with the spices first because I like the aroma that it adds to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with one one half cup of water and I have my brown sugar here sorry about that this is a uh, this side of the measuring spoon is one tablespoon this side is two tablespoons and I'm probably going to use um, two tablespoons of brown sugar I'm going to start with my water so I can add my ginger and other spices because I don't want it to burn so I just added the water to the pot and now I'm going to add my spices, beginning with the ginger. And you really don't have to do it this way. Um, you can just add your apples and start with that. I just like the aroma that um, comes from all of the spices going in first and um, you just add all of your spices and you can add your apples after that or you can just do whatever works for you but I just like the aroma that uh, happens that's the spice and now I'm going to add a little bit more water and now I'm going to add my brown sugar I'm just going to stir this up a little bit. It's almost like having um, like an apple pie um, applesauce, if you will. So now I'm just going to add the apples to this. It's a really quick recipe. The longest part is just chopping your apples. Well, peeling and chopping. So now all of the apples are in the pot. I've mixed them around a little bit and now I've decided I'm going to add just a squeeze of lemon. That's just one half of a lemon. You don't have to add that unless you want to. I just like a little tang and sweet. <laughs> But this should be done in about 15 minutes and I'll show you all the final product so I know I said that I would wait until I'll show you all the final product but 
This is it while it's cooking down. Can't tell you how delicious it smells. Um, I wish I had smeller vision, but it just smells so wonderful. But anyway, I'll show you all the final product when this is done. It's like halfway already. And I have it at medium low. So it's about done. It's, I don't want it to stick to the pan. And so it's really thick now. Um, and I've smashed it with the back of my wooden spoon a couple of times as it's been breaking down. Um, but now it looks like it's done. So the steam is still rising, but it really cooked way down. And please note it's dark because I used brown sugar instead of white sugar or maple syrup or honey. Um, and it's done. And I have my one liter tulip wax jar here and I'm going to transfer it into the jar. Uh, this smells so good. And during the autumn season, I like to go to the farmer's market and at our farmer's market, um, they'll have lots of vendors who are selling tons and tons of apples. Um, they generally start at like late August, early September, and they tend to sell out. I'm trying to take the, um, to remember to take the cardamom pods out. Um, anyway, they sell them um, until probably the end of October. And I like to get, well, back in the day, I used to buy a full box, which would give you about 80 apples. Um, but there's not enough people in the house to eat that many apples now. So most of the time I try to get a half a box. So that gives me probably about up to 38 to 40 apples. And um, I like to make applesauce because it just it's just wonderful. And it's another way to use the apples. And you can add to your oatmeal, um, anything. I mean, it's just really great. Um, and it's great for breakfast, lunch. Um, and it's fall time and I just like to be able to use cinnamon and spice whenever I can. So let me just transfer this to the jar. Okay, so this is our final product. Um, so looking at this jar, so about four medium to large apples will give you almost one liter of applesauce, um, which is good for us because it's just three of us right now. So this will work for the week. And um, I'm going to let it sit here and cool down without the lid on for at least 30 minutes or more, just depending on when it gets cooler. And I hope you guys get a chance to take advantage of the recipe or just make your own applesauce. I mean, tis the season, right? So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Hope you find a way to like, hope you are enjoying this autumn season wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.